Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. We're in the city of Skaldvik. Uh, we're taking a look now at the train station that we built in the previous episode. We put in some custom parking lots and a bus hub here. Uh, I did a little bit more detailing just to make it look a little bit prettier. And I went ahead and lined up a whole bunch of bus lines that basically reach all of the different parts of the town that we have made until now and they each come in and have their own little place in here at the same time right now we're set up to accept inner city trains so we actually have one coming in right now this is an asset that i found on the workshop um i believe by revo it, it'll be in the comments in the description um and then i went ahead and put this little kind of end of line train thing over here with some more assets just to fill out this space that wasn't getting used and it kind of seemed like something that would make sense here at an end of line station. If we follow this train line a little bit, though, you'll see why I said for now for inner city trains. Um, so we have a bunch of different lines coming all the way down in like that from out of bounds. And then one that comes up this way as well. And right now, I'm thinking that eventually we're going to expand this line going forward. And I don't really want to have the inner city trains have to pass by everything. They just end up congesting the lines quite a bit. And so the way we're going to fix that is we're going to come over here and put in another train station. And this is the one that's going to accept the inner city lines. Um, and that way they're not going to make their way all the way down the tracks that we have and they're not going to get in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and put in this train station really quick and get that all set up. So I went ahead and put in that train station and I built up the area around it as well. I kept it with high density, just sort of continuing what we had already been getting up to in this area. And I also went ahead and built some bus lines here to service that local area to give them a reason to come down to this station. At the same time, what I want to go ahead and do now is I want to set up a short little line on the rails between this station and the one that we had made last episode. Now, it might seem a little bit silly, it's not very far, but this is only going to be the beginning of a regional line. And I also want to do it to make sure that we don't need to have inner city trains coming all the way down. So I think we need just about one, and let's give that a good red color. That, something like this should be just fine. Cool, so we'll get some trains in there quickly, and we're going to turn off inner city trains here. This way they don't need to travel all the way down the line and back us up. And so we'll have them come down into the other terminal there. And meanwhile, they'll run back and forth. Now, at the same time, this line is eventually going to continue upwards in one of these directions. So while the line might seem a little silly right now, eventually that'll make for a nice little regional line here on the northern part of the map for us. So it seems like a little bit excessive to have the train jump back and forth for now, but we're just getting ahead and planning for the future a little bit. And so now it's just a matter of waiting for another about a hundred sims, I think, or so, yeah, to reach Big City. And then we will unlock another square and really get moving. All right, so our main plan today is to build a big city center, and we're going to take this area here. I've started laying out some of the collector roads, and some of them were drawn in actually with the map itself. We do have the train line coming in. But one of the things I want to fix right away is this highway. I want to actually raise it up so we have a way to go underneath. Um, that way they're not only crossing at these intersections, otherwise those would get very busy. So I'm going to go ahead and raise this up really quickly, making use of the Move It mod. And I'll get back to you when I've put that all together. So here we are with the raised up highway. I went ahead and put in a few more roads. I drew some of the ones that are going to continue underneath. And the next step now is taking these little sectioned off places and turning them into neighborhoods. We're going to build in a similar style to before where I don't really want to put everything on a perfect grid. And I want to limit the access points on these bigger roads here. I don't want too many intersections which are going to block up the traffic on them. I want people to be able to move through them pretty quickly. 
I didn't really like how that was setting up, so I'm going to try this again. One of the things that I am going to switch it up from the style that we were building before is I do want to keep a few more right angles in play here. Just to kind of give it that grid feel while not being a perfect grid. I'm hoping this way when we're kind of looking top down, it will look a lot like a city that you're used to. But the function itself will stay away from a lot of four-way intersections and things that can block up traffic. So let me go ahead and put those roads into place and I'll be right back with you. So I put the roads in and I got them zoned up a little bit. It's time to put in some services. We're definitely going to need the larger ones here. So I'm going to put in this hospital. I want to break the connection here to the road inside because I don't want other people driving up this road unnecessarily. I just want the services using that one to get onto the main road there. At the same time, let's put in a police station and a fire department, if we can just squeeze it in there. Probably not. So maybe we'll just put it on the main road itself. Yeah, and if it needs to turn around, it can just go up into that intersection we just built. At the same time, I want to make this a priority road. We want to get rid of all of the possible stop signs or stop lights that might be there. I just want them carrying right through. That way it won't slow down the traffic as it's coming. At the same time, we do need to set up some schools for the new population that's going to be coming in here. So why don't we go ahead and start with a high school. As we've been doing, we're going to put in a nice little baseball stadium there. It's really just the best asset that I've found so far for a sports field, but I might go out and find some other types of fields as well to put in just to spice it up a little bit. Um, like normal, we're going to toss in a bit of a parking lot here because we are using the realistic parking and we want them to have somewhere to go. So let me just detail this really quickly. So with those initial services sketched out, we've got a majority of what we need in and ready to go to at least start getting some people in here. It's not perfect, of course, and we're probably going to need more services as the population grows. As you can see, we've got a lot of high density. And the other big thing is we need a way to get some people down here. Not only that, we also want to make sure that we're building the types of things that we want to have built down here. There are a lot of options when you start getting into the high density. So I want to sketch out some zones here and particularly in response to a comment that I had on one of the previous videos. Apparently, uh, we have not really given our Sims very many places to have fun. So the main way that we're going to do that is using these zones to decide on a leisure district, which at the moment is going to be that little place that is named Foggy Hills. I'm not married yet to these names, and probably in the next episode we're going to go through and really start putting our names on all of this and really sort of deciding. But we're going to go ahead and give this a leisure specialty. And at the same time, I also want to put in the self-sufficient housing. I just really like the way that those grow up and look. So let's plop that down on most of the rest of the area and see what decides to build in. 
So I let a little bit of time pass, and right now they really want some industrial zones. So I'm going to take this little piece by the highway and see if I can't put something in here to satisfy that demand. And then hopefully get them back to building some nice big tall apartment buildings for us and the like. I'm not really sure yet whether this will be permanent. I haven't quite decided. I do like to put a little bit of industry, like generic zoned industry, into my cities. Um, I think it can make them feel, have a little bit more personality um, in certain aspects, but I'm not sure if this is exactly where I'll want to put it and keep it for now. It's right now it's by the train station that I put in quickly just to give people a way to get down from the towns up north. And it actually needs water for it to really start working. I did set up a small line there as well to bring people back and forth and so hopefully that will start getting people interested in coming down here. At the same time we may as well put a little bit of a district right around the train station and build up some things that make it worthwhile to come down in the first place. So let's go ahead and do that really quick, and I'm probably just going to do a slight bit of detailing. So with the train station set up, we do have a little bit of public transportation to bring people into this big city, but it's not really that great yet. There's no good way to get from the train station, say, down to where all of these people are living. So I'm going to set up a pretty extensive bus network, I think. We have a lot of these collector roads that we can have the buses run up and down. So we'll put one down here by the water. Along this road, it'll stop off at our little leisure district a couple of times and work its way back over to where some of the people are living. Make sure it has the right type of bus. And let's give that a nice green color. We also have this larger collector road avenue that is running down the center, and we're going to do the exact same thing here. So just giving it a stop every few blocks or so. They're not going to be far away, but the idea is that you should be able to just hop on and hop off. And they should be close enough to the collectors that are also running sort of east-west. Uh, the camera's sort of turned right now, so it's not exact. Um which we'll draw in in a second. We'll make this one green as well. And then let's put some that bring us all the way over to the train station. So here we are. These roads don't fit perfectly into one another in the same way. They'll overlap a little bit and we might as well put a stop there as well. Um, that way they have a place to transfer without walking. Drag this all the way up to the station and right back down the same direction. Again, another little transfer, and down here, and connected. And let's make that, let's make that yellow. Cool. Make sure it selects the correct type. And we have a couple of other roads that we can do this on as well. Let's go ahead and put one of those types of roads here as well. A couple stops there, one that connects, one in the middle here, another one there that gets you to the industrial. A stop outside the train station and work all the way back and complete the line. This one should also be some sort of a yellow-ish, maybe, kind of, uh, yeah, close enough, bus, perfect, good. And that should give them at least ways to make it from the train station down to the rest of the city. I'm going to let the city run now for a little bit so we can see some people build in. And I'm going to also go ahead and clean some things up, add in some paths. And we're going to do all of this in a time lapse.
well, we have made progress, but oh my goodness, look at that traffic. I was very busy just kind of building away when I noticed all of this had happened. So, uh, pretty much it's getting in and out of the neighborhoods are pretty clogged up, which is somewhat to be expected. Uh, but it is also the main roads itself are backed up. So we have this one coming out. This one has two exits, though, and I'm surprised that this one... No one wants to use this road? No, not at all? Just, just not useful to anyone? Cool. All right, everybody coming down off the highway has to make these turns. So I tried to do a little something to get going with it, and that is I put in some traffic lights at a bunch of these bigger intersections. And I thought it was helping, but 56% traffic flow, not really helping, I don't think. So let's see if we can investigate a little bit where these people are going, and maybe that will help us figure out something. So here, everybody is just about coming into these neighborhoods or going out via the highway. Yeah, I mean, that kind of makes sense. Not so many crossing across to the train station. And that, the highway is not super backed up, but this is really the one way in, one way out right now. I'm wondering, there's really not space here, though, to put in another on-ramp. And I think that might just kind of give us the same problem that we just had. Anyway... Let me think about this for a second. Okay, so I'm I'm putting in another little on-ramp, off-ramp situation, but I'm going to be honest, it doesn't really look like it's working. I mean, all it's really done is made the backup that was happening around the roundabout just sort of end up down here. Maybe that's a little... No. No, see, because now it's just... That's not going to work either. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to delete all of this, and we're going to try something different. Dealing with traffic can certainly be a trial and error sometimes, and I'm going to chalk this one up as an error. And I think we're just going to have to go with the classic situation of maybe turning this intersection into a roundabout. I'm going to go ahead and try that. All right, let's grab our roundabout tool, place one right here. Perfect. And another one right here. Great. Oh, and I spy some more intersections that we can make into roundabouts. And maybe this one too. This one gets a little clogged up. Perfect. Looking not too bad. Uh, let's get this one too. This one's off of a highway. Beautiful. And honestly, I mean, this one should be a roundabout. It's silly if it isn't. And cool. Now they are all turned into roundabouts. Uh, let's set those up really quickly with traffic manager. Control left click. Control click blah blah blah. And that one, and that one. It, you know, it's the simplest way to deal with traffic, and I think that it is the situation that we're in. And I think it's just going to be the way that it works. And already I feel like traffic is moving better. Well, they just need to learn to accept the roundabout, and then I think they'll be happy. So we just need to give the AI some time to adjust. But I think that's about where we're going to wrap this up. I do want to try and find a way to make this work. I'm going to keep playing with the traffic a little bit between episodes here. But I'm definitely going to say that we've made some tremendous progress here. I mean, we've almost doubled the population of our city by adding this downtown area. And, I mean, I think it's starting to look pretty good. We obviously have little bits and pieces here to clean up, but... 
I'm really excited for our next episode. Next one should come after the airport's DLC has been dropped, which means that we are going to get moving on making our very first airport in Skaldvik. So look out for that. That being said, if you enjoyed the video today, please leave a like below. Consider subscribing to the channel. Stick around and you'll see a fun little time lapse I'm going to put together of this area being transformed into the city. And I'll see you in the next one.